this is code.org, and I want to use join on a list. But what does join do? What, how do I, huh, join? So there's a few ways to get a list onto a screen. One way is obviously just throwing in a set statement. Let's go ahead and grab set text. I just have a red button, obviously red. Yep, you get it. Good. Okay. And then set text. This is called output text here. Boom. And then what do I want to set it to? I'm going to say my entire list. I already have a pre-made list up here. Now make sure to delete the quotes. It will fight you on that sometimes. But if you don't, it's just going to print out the words that you have in between the quotes. Now, this isn't technically correct. Let me show you. Let me hit this. And if you're like, what do you mean it's not correct? It's showing. Blum, 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 blum. Text parameter is not a UI string. What does that mean? That means JavaScript, which is the programming language we're running here, JavaScript doesn't like this. It is a complete array. It is a list, and so it will spit that out for us, but it's not technically how you want to do it. They want it to be a string. All right, well, how do I avoid this error? How do I, um, well, make it a string? That is where join comes in. Let's now head over. Let me hit reset here. Variables. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Remove, append, insert, join. Hello, join. So now instead, and I'm going to actually go ahead and make a variable, just because it might be easier to read. Pacha. I'm going to say combo, because it's all my stuff comboed together. And now what am I going to combine? Mine's named word list. And now a dash. Sure. And then what do I want to print? I don't want to print word list. I'm going to print combo now. All right, let's give this a shot. Ooh, and notice there's a hyphen in between each item. Now, what if I wanted something else? Well, that's as easy as heading over here and being like, oh, I don't know what I want. Yo, like that. Bam, yo, yo, yo. Now, what if I wanted a line break? Actually, we can do that too, right? If you want to go to the next line in code in JavaScript, that's going to be slash in, and it's the slash kind of up next to the letter P. Pa da! We have a line break. Now, where it gets tricky is numbers. For numbers, you're going to want to loop through it with a print statement and an actual string that you're using. If that doesn't make sense, check out my video on how to print out each item. If that doesn't make sense, no worries. I do have a video on how to print it out. It will probably be linked in this playlist or the description of this. But yeah, we have an awesome super duper join statement and it works. Ta-da!